All right, so I took a picture of this. So yep. we know which one. Ah, I'll tell Koborg is here. Nope, that's a skull monkey. Oh, then it's this one. Skull monkey here. Ah. Yep. But this is a hoboard. Hoboard. That's a hoboard. And this is a skull monkey here. Then the one right next to that's a skull monkey. I think there was a tree over here. Yeah, okay. So let's take a new picture. <coughs> Shot. I'm sending you a balloon. Just be aware it might pop because there's a needle inside. Tape to it, and the tape is going to come loose because it's a water balloon. Okay, now tape it. Tied up. Slingshot. Sling! And this is Mrs. Sapphire. This is definitely a tedious puzzle. Probably more tedious than the sliding blocks puzzle. Um, like slow and annoying. I'm gonna try breaking this rock. I don't know where Bert Bert is. Oh, but I know where that is. What? That was here. Oh no, it wasn't. Bert Bert. Yeah, okay. Mustache Bert Bert. Alright, I'm taking a picture. Bert Bert. Bert Bert. Burp, 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 burp. 79 for this sword. Okay. Who is that? Willie Trombone's Will back. Okay, Willie Trombone's head is here. Then copy the picture. Alright. Burp, burp, here. Skull monkey here. Uh. And treats. Can I take a picture? Abdilla, Abdilla, Abdilla. No, nope. another skull monkey. All right, I found another Abdilla. Right, let's go back to the picture. All right, so Lily Trombone, Lily Trombone. Nope. Those are trees. What was that Abdilla? Lily Trombone. Willy Trombone. Willy Trombone. Burp, burp. Burp, burp. Skull monkey. Burp, burp have a huge back. Huge mustache. Yeah, he's got a biker mustache. It's pretty cool. <laughs> that guy's my god. Ah! <sighs> Messed up again.
I should just write this down, actually. Where are we? Dolphin. It's probably easier. Dolphin. <sighs> this guy sounds like me. <laughs> Getting frustrated. He's making fun of you. I'm just gonna write it down, because... It takes too long to... Alright, so it's a grid. I thought maybe taking a picture would be quicker, but it really isn't. <laughs> Why don't you start plotting them? Just claim and have the penny. He has as good a memory as I have. I think that's a Numeron, one of the burp trees. Burpleberry. Go monkey down here. Our radio. What puzzle is this? This is the the memory puzzle. But we're not using our memory. <laughs> we're just writing things down. All right. Trees. Another Ogdilla. I've seen another Ogdilla anywhere. Take a random guess. Okay. Oh. Well, at least we know that there's a little trap over there. Uh -huh. Okay, this is a willy trombone. There's a willy trombone over here. Oh, there is one in the corner. The bottom corner. The bottom yeah. right corner. Venus flytrap. Another Willy Trombone. How many of each do you have to find? Well, that's what we're trying to figure out, kind of. Is how many there are of each. There has to be at least a six. There has to be an even number of each also. Right? Yeah. Yeah. There's a Willy Trombone here. So you filled in everything? Almost. Oh! Yes! You filled in everything! You know where everything is. Yeah. Alright, now it's just a matter of getting them. I didn't really draw them that well, though. Um, Who is that? I think that's Numeron. Tell me when you figured out the whole thing. Go monkey. What happens if you mess up? Then I have to start all over. 
That's why he doesn't want to mess with Don't move my chair. <laughs> I might put the wrong one. Um. Any possible moves? Look at his big broad mustache. Look at it. Look at that. I got it. Ha <laughs> What does that do? Well, now we gotta find out which one we gotta find. We gotta count. So, <coughs> we gotta go back to Big Robot Bill. So, let me go over here first. Oh, this is the, the, the mouse we sucked up. Poor mouse. We gotta follow the mouse's nose. Do you need to use the bathroom? Mm -hmm. Follow your nose. It always knows. <laughs> now we got the mouse and its cheese. You guys already shoot the cannon. We haven't. the bird. That's in the bird. Hop it on. Put the bird. Hop it on. Hop it on with the bird, bird. Hop it on with the bird. Hop it on with the bird, bird. Hop it on with the bird. Hop it on with the bird, bird. Hop it on with the bird. Hop it on with the bird, bird. Hop it on with the bird. Ah, it's upside down, Willie Trombone. Hop it up with the bird. Hop it up with the bird, the bird. Hop it up with the bird. Hop it up with the bird, the bird. Hop it up with the bird. Two more tapes. Why? <laughs>
And that's oh. Mhm. Mm so that's how it happened, huh? Why have you been keeping it a secret? <laughs> Oh, these are the symbols that I wrote down. <coughs> oh, that's it. <coughs> so the first one was was that circular one. That's oh, it's okay. Okay, let me wait until it goes to that. No. No, it's not that one. Second one was a circle over a weird line thing. That might have been the tree. Oh, the squiggly. Oh. That one. That, that, that one. That one. This one was the one that made the weird noise. That. that one. And then this one was the... The tree. Oh. I just missed it. It was the seesaw one. I did not get you sick. <laughs> you got me. And I'm not even sick. Anymore. We're all sick. That. No. It's alright. Go! Alright. And this one's the tree oh. one. This one's like the hook shape one. The hook shape? What are you talking about? Not sick. And then we got that one that's like an antenna. Uh, no. Yes. And then this one's like that S shaped one. Or a two shaped one. This one's like a robot face.
Look at Paul. Yeah, I wrote those down already. <laughs> the green one goes back to that place, but I don't want to go there yet. Isn't that time machine? No, it's a teleporter. What about the red one? <coughs> red one goes to the place where I pulled the pin. Oops. Technically, Hobor is the one that created him, but he's the one that put the seed down. He has an infinite number of those plants, just keeps dropping them on his head. How did he drop them on his head? I don't know, because he's crazy. the teddy bear. You gotta move that teddy bear. Oh, God. You think the simple that we just got? My name! <coughs> so, now we should count how many of each of them there are. So, I should take a picture, because um, one, two, three, I think there's four of these. How many pole boards are there? <laughs> one, two, three, four. That looks like a square version of Spongebob's house. I think there's four hole boards. I don't think there's two of these. How is it? Why did you do that? But he still can't get his teddy bear. I want my Now teddy. you shoot the robot bill. Remember the little cartoon? So we gotta shoot Robot Bill? I don't wanna shoot Robot Bill. It's, it was in the cartoon. I know. I, I think Nobody we did. wants it, this teddy bear. No! <laughs> How many buttons do, does he have? How many buttons do he have? He has a skirt. I think we do have to. Should we ask Will? Should we? Should we? We we could we could have asked Willie right there, but I think in order to actually get a hint from Willie, we have to actually go to our house and check the mail.
Solana. Who I see. He's been trapped in that tower the whole time. <coughs> Why? I think Clog trapped him in there. What, we put infinite amount of flower pots? <laughs> That's me. Well, we do what we must. Shoot robot bill. Okay. Let's do it. Let's shoot Robot Bill. It's the only yes. thing we have, we can do. So, yeah. <laughs> this is a very sad moment. Okay, let's put the code in. There's his head. Go back there and see. See if we can. Use the teleporter. How do you get up there? Look down. Uh -huh. I'm claiming a pair of things. Still falls down the stairs. Actually, you know what? Before we go back, there's one thing I wanted to do. Remember how we connected the two worlds together? And how that world just ended? When we were on that track thing? Let's see if we can explore more of that. Oh, yes! I'm not bored anymore. See, look, now the world is connected, you can go through here. It doesn't just end anymore.
think he can go anywhere right here. No, there's a door. Oh, this is Willie Trombone's tower. The tower that he, the, the prison. Yeah. Get out on the next floor. No, this is where we came in from. Remember that secret door? But I can't get out here, unfortunately. There's just that spiral where we push the button. Yeah, I swear I saw something there. Let's go back and go back and visit Robot Bill, see how he's <coughs> doing him now that we shot him. Is it something supposed to come out of that crab symbol? Yeah, we already did that though. Yeah, but that monster came out of the other wall. <coughs> yeah, the. That was just the symbol, though. That crab symbol. I don't want to use the moon pad. Wait, wait. Before we go, I just want to see if Willie Trombone sent us another letter. Remember, do, 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 do. How did you get here, Captain? We were born there. It's just where Willy Trumbo Wait, left go us. up, go up! You can't, you can't go back in the first room anymore. Oh, because they, because I know that they're connected now. Hi friends, someone needs to knock some sense into that bill. Willy. Oh, bill with one L. Yeah. I wonder what the other three rings do. Let's go to Bill. Poor Bill. He was only a child. No, go to the Joker house. Nah, we don't. We wanted him. We all want stuff. Doesn't mean we have to be. It doesn't mean we have to block people off for a quest just to show how upset we are. is switch from bad to good.
PC was set to bad. This is all Bill's fight. Uh oh. Is object a bear? Yes. Deploy bear retrieval unit.
Fell, we died. Yeah, they don't have Maybe we would find. They don't have a save they either. Yeah, save. they never saved. Well, Robot Bill did, and um, Clayman stuck? and Willie got zapped by him, so they both got saved. In that matter, if if Bill if Billy did actually save. Build a big robot. So, they should be back alive. If you use two things. An elevator. Did you ever manage to stand before? Yeah, I beat it. We have a teleporting machine and then. We might have just found the last disc. No, I need more than one more disc. The last two. If I want to leave yet. have the uh I got a pin. So let's pop the balloon and then we can... what it is. 
This is where everything, remember we sucked up the vacuum? It all came here. And there's the last tape. like those look like the keys did you find one inside the vacuum seven one two five So the T goes on the seven, one, two, five. Let's see what the other tape says. What? You just got the very last tape? Yeah. shall spend all our days here together. With you by my side, I'll make more crap! No! I mean, no, Clog. This crown is the only thing that you cannot have. I am ruler of this world, the Neverhood, and a ruler that needs his crown. No, Surely, crown. You no, can understand that. Now go and explore your new home. 
While I go back to my throne room, the plans Clark are is the one make. with the weird wonky <laughs> teeth. He got it that way. So, and I'll go work, though, to make more friends. And Clog starts thinking bad things. Sitting in the throne room, Oborg starts thinking about who he makes next. <laughs> so he's still alive. Yeah. He gave us the key. Or was it this program to do that? Yeah, Willy came from Otto Borg's world, but Otto Borg's world didn't have any gravity, so it fell apart. How many episodes has it been ever since we started? I don't know. I'm going to divide this up, I think. It's you know the boss battle is actually a pretty funny boss battle. Seven one two five. Seven one two five. Seven one two five. That's right. Seven one two. No, wait. Five. You don't have it in the five. Seven. You have it in the nine. Seven one two nine. This one was a tough one. Oh, and sit down. What is it? This is like the first puzzle of the game.
have one plant, <clears throat> two rings that we need down. What do we do? Does that summon in a new one? So how do you think we get past this? Push it again. Can you? Mouse and cheese? Mouse and cheese! But we can't get the mouse and cheese in here. Put it like, I guess, in the center right you, you should be able to get the mouse and cheese. How do you do it, Glenn? That's how you do it. <laughs> Just let it spit you out and do it. Uh, there. Nobody would have thought of So okay. we gotta choose. I I already know which one is better. You saw what happened to Clog. So should we wear the crown? Wore the crown? So don't wear the crown. I'm gonna wear it. the other choice? So long. Who wrote me? 
What is your name? Clayman. He finally has a voice. Mm, yes, of course. Well, stand up, friend. You saved this world, and... <laughs> I guess it does take an awful long time to be a god. It just it, it took it take a god seven days and seven Wait minutes. Wait a minute. Freak up.
Oh, I was uh, never heard. Yeah, this is the wacky song at the end. <laughs> Head caught brain. there's a Skull Monkeys promo at the end of this. I don't think they they knew they were going to have a sequel when they made this game. Uh, I love that last note. Yeah, that's the end. That's all it was. Well, that was a Neverhood. It came out in 96. It wasn't very successful, actually. I don't think it sold that many, but it, it, um, it had a... It built up quite a cult because it was a very well made game. They put a lot of effort into it. The soundtrack was very successful. Terry Scott Taylor. I actually own the soundtrack. It did spawn two sequels, Skull Monkeys and Boombots. Uh, Skull Monkeys was a platform game for PlayStation. Boombots was a fighting game for uh, PlayStation as well. And they're making a fourth game called Armacrog. They, I know they had a Kickstarter campaign for it that I contributed to. I think overall it's one of those games that didn't have the best puzzles in the world. Like it had some good puzzles, but there was a lot of overall like a lot of just puzzles that were meant to take time. You know, you had that memory puzzle that really was just like, oh my god. Um, and you had that, you know, sliding block puzzles, things like that that are kind of and then there were a lot of things like weird symbols you had to write down. Which actually isn't bad, you know. It was, but it, overall, it wasn't. The puzzles weren't that great, um, but the atmosphere, the story, the the presentation was excellent. It was all top top notch. The, the music, all perfect tens, I think, and definitely made up for it. It kind of had a mist feel to it, almost. Whereas Mist had excellent puzzles some of the best puzzles in adventure games. Um, this didn't have great puzzles, but ha definitely had that mist kind of atmosphere to it. Um, and, and just a really funny storyline, great cutscenes. Anyway, I think I've talked about this game enough. I think you've seen it. If you've seen it this far, you've seen what it has to offer. Pretty much shown everything. Not too much else. I don't think there might have been some Easter eggs that I've missed, but I think I've pretty much shown everything that this game has to offer. It took an enormous amount of work to make this game, so there's not a lot in this game that was hidden. Any sort of work that they put in, they wanted to present. They wanted to make sure you played through. There's not a lot of optional stuff. There was the whole optional reading that whole wall, obviously, but even that, you still have to walk through it. <laughs> um... So yeah, it's definitely a unique game. There's really nothing like it. I'm glad they're making Armacrog into a point-and-click adventure. We'll see how that is. We'll see how... I, I have a feeling it's going to be very different from this, though. Because there's definitely some things in this game that I don't think that they're going to do. Hopefully it'll be an improvement. Uh, better puzzles and more streamlined design. We'll see. We'll see how it comes out. 
Anyway, I'm going to stop here. I hope you like this uh, Let's Play. Have a good day, guys. Bye.